Hey guys, I hope you guys have had an amazing Thanksgiving holiday celebrating with friends and family. It is Black Friday today. It's about uh, almost three in the afternoon. I've been browsing through some deals online and I decided to record a quick video, maybe spend a couple of minutes with you guys going through some of the deals that I'm seeing on uh, Amazon and on B&H for lenses and camera bodies. So I'm recording my screen. Let's just jump into it. Uh, you'll see my reaction as I'm walking through all of these deals with you. To be honest, I'm not seeing a ton of amazing deals out there. Unfortunately, I think that most people are shopping online, so you'd expect more of these deals, but we'll see what we can find. Uh, so I'm on Amazon right now, and uh, let's see, we have Black Friday week. Um, if I click here, no, we don't want that. Let me just start by searching uh, for e-mount, and we'll see what lenses pop up we will filter out just the Black Friday deals and start going through this. So uh, the first one that comes up here is the Sony 50 millimeter f1.8. That's the full frame um, lens. Not a bad deal. It's 20% off at 198. However, I did notice if I hop over to B&H and I type in, actually, I might be able to just click on the Sony deals here. I believe I saw this lens here for a little bit less, and indeed, here it is. So with B&H, uh, there are a couple of ways you can save some money, one of which is if you enroll in their EDU program. So if you're going to college, taking college classes, work at a school, I think there are other ways you can get into the EDU program. Maybe you know someone who's going to school and they can help you buy something. You can save potentially a lot of money this way. So here's an example. This is an EDU special, uh, the 50 millimeter f1.8 full frame prime lens for $160. I think that's the lowest that I've ever seen that lens. So uh, definitely a good deal for 160 bucks. You can see it's not very well rated because the autofocus on that lens is a little bit finicky and it's a little bit noisy, but Optically, it's actually a pretty decent lens, especially for $160. Um, normal price is around $250. So uh, that's available on Amazon for $199. If you have EDU with b and I'll link that down in the description. You can get it for $160, which is, I think, not bad. Let's keep scrolling on Amazon. Uh, so we have Viltrox, nothing special there. The Sony 18 to 135 is listed here at 15% off, 548 that's actually not bad. Um, that's pretty low. I don't think I've seen that lens lower than 548. So if you are looking for a good travel walk around lens, that's going to be a replacement for the kit lens. That is definitely one that I would recommend. The other one that I would take a look at, let's see if that is on sale, is the 18 to 105, which is a little bit better for video work. And look, there it is, Black Friday deal, 598, so $50 more. The difference between the two, you get a constant f4 with this lens versus the variable aperture. Uh, so I prefer this one a little bit more if you can afford uh, to carry around a larger lens because it's, I mean, it's about an inch longer than the 18 to 135. So both of those lenses are good deals. Um, I've seen this one around 650, 700 basically all year long. So you're not getting a steal of a deal, but it's not a bad price if you do need to replace your kit lens with something that's just a good walk around lens. So let's see, Rokinon 50 millimeter f1.4, 15% off. Uh, looks like a manual only lens. I don't think I've reviewed that one, so I don't have any comments on it. Uh, Fisheye lens, let's see, Rokinon 35, 1.4, 13% off. It's not a big discount. You have some baddest lenses. There's that 18 to 105 that we just looked at. Uh, not a whole lot. Let's see, here is the Sony 85 millimeter F1.8, and this is an excellent lens, highly recommended if you have a full frame Sony camera. Uh, a great, great super sharp portrait lens. And in fact, you can use it on an APS-C and it works very well. I've tested it on my APS-C cameras. 548 here on Amazon, which is not bad. Normally this is uh, 600 or 650. I actually saw this one, yeah, here we go, on B&H. And I think this is probably one of the best deals that I've seen so far today, and that is here. The 85 millimeter F1.8 
with the EDU discount 428. So you're saving almost 30% there. Normal price is 600, you're getting it for 428. Uh, so I would definitely recommend getting that um, at that 428 price if you can get it through the EDU discount. Uh, if you are looking for a great, again, portrait lens. Uh, very, very sharp, excellent, highly recommended. Let's go back to Amazon and continue. 16 millimeter f2.8 from Sony. I do not recommend that lens whatsoever. It's probably one of the worst lenses that Sony has ever released. Uh, so saving 11%, no way is that worth it. Uh, Rokinon AF24 f2.8. I haven't reviewed this lens, but oh, it is 48% off of $400. I'll have to look at that. I might buy that just to uh, test out the 24 millimeter. What was the one? I reviewed the 35 millimeter recently, but I have not looked at the 24. So that might be an interesting one. When you have 48% off, it's not bad. I'll link that down below if you guys are wanting to check out that deal. Uh, let's see, eight millimeter, uh, fisheye, not a big fan of fisheye lenses. Uh, Viltrox, so we have the Sony 16 to 35. F4. Um, this lens is pretty old. It's also been on sale for as long as I've seen it, so I don't see that 19% is a big deal. Samyang 85 f1.4, only 15% off. Uh, I would recommend getting the Sony 85 f1.8 over this lens for less money. Um, let's see, small rig, so not much there, just a couple of good lenses. Next page. Again, not a couple of Rokinons, those are sponsored. Here's a Panasonic, I don't know how that popped up in our e-mount search, but 41% off, that seems like a good deal if you have a Panasonic camera. The Sony 70 to 200 f2.8 is a whopping 5% off. Uh, and I believe I saw this on B&H as well. Yeah, there it is. So the 70 to 200 f2.8 is $2,000 versus 23.98 so again uh, if you can if you are looking at something very expensive like that definitely check it out because you can save four hundred dollars just like that through the edu discount on b and h uh, let's go back and continue scrolling another panasonic we're not interested the sony 18 to 200 here's a lens i have not reviewed uh, just because it's not very well received from what i've read <clears throat> From what I read, it's not the best lens out there. It covers a huge range, but I personally just don't have any interest in buying something like that for $750. Let's see, Zeiss Loxia, Zeiss Tawit, Ta Ta I don't know how, how you pronounce that. It's a pretty old one. Here's a good one, uh, the 70 to 350. Um, this is the lens that was released just last year, so a year ago. Uh, 70 to 350 for APS-C, 10% off for Black Friday, 898. Uh, so I'd say that's a pretty decent deal. That's a great lens for um, telephoto work. You need to have good lighting, but it is a super good lens. Very fast, silent autofocus, linear autofocus motors, huge range. Um, so definitely a lens that I recommend. However, I believe I also saw this on B&H and it was less money. So let's switch over to APS-C lenses on B&H. Apparently on B&H there are only five APS-C lenses that are on sale for Black Friday. Um, and one of those is that 70 to 350. So $748, bucks, which is pretty dang good. So you're saving 25% over retail. Again, you have to have the EDU discount there. Um, but a very, very good lens for the money. For $750, I'd say definitely pick that thing up for uh, $898. You have to kind of think about it because it's $150 more. $750, it's a good deal. $898, it's a decent deal, but not quite so amazing. Let's continue on. Amazon, we have it at 10 to 18. I don't know why this lens is still $800. Um, I've reviewed this lens a couple of times. I, in fact, I did a video a while ago where I bought two of these and I showed you guys how uh, one was extremely soft and the other was decently sharp. Um, just because this lens has quality control issues, I don't know why it has a 4.5 or better rating on here. 
It's also one of the few ultra wide lenses that are for APS-C that are available from Sony. I really do wish Sony would replace this 10 to 18 with a newer 10 to 18 or 10 to 20 or something like that that comes in at less money than $800 for this lens that's now I think six or seven years old. So I would not recommend that one. However, I would recommend the lens directly below that, which is the Rokinon 12 millimeter F2. Um, I've compared both of these lenses side by side. The Rokinon is amazing. Uh, the only lens that I like more than the Rokinon as far as ultrawides for Sony APS-C is the um, Lawa 9 millimeter. There you guys are the Lawa 9 millimeter. This thing is, uh, I think, $500. That's what I paid for mine. Actually, just because I'm curious, let's look up if the Lawa is on sale. And it is. Okay, so you got 10% off, so 50 bucks off of uh, the normal price. So if you guys are looking for a super duper wide lens for your Sony APS-C camera, that is definitely one that I recommend. 50 bucks off, we'll take it, that's not bad. Um, anyway, let's go back, actually, let me check the Lawa on b &H. Nine millimeter, should be, yep, same exact price here, 449. 50 bucks off. So either case, a decent deal on the Lawa. Okay, so we're back where we were. Let's see. Here we are. There's the Rokinon. So let's keep scrolling. Uh, Zeiss Loxia. No. Uh, let's move on to page three. And it seems like we're running out of lenses. Uh, the full frame 24 to 105. Haven't reviewed that. Um, 1090 it seems like it's up there though for that lens. Okay, so the Sony 35 f1.8, uh, that is the full frame version, not the APS-C version. Uh, the APS-C version is about 350, this one, 7% off for Black Friday, so 698. Let's check B&H because I'm curious. Sony 35 f1.8, let's see, 698 on B&H, so exact same money there. Um, let's see, here's a good one, the Sony 20 millimeter f1.4 G. That is the new one that I reviewed a couple of months ago. Only 6% off though, so you're only getting 50 bucks off of that one. Unfortunately, let's keep going. Uh, speaking of the 35 APS-C, there is the Sony 35 f1.8. That is the lens that I uh, basically started recording most of my YouTube videos with. Um, I've since switched to just using Sigma Primes primarily for shooting these head uh, talking head videos, uh, but the Sony is still a good lens. It is a little bit too expensive. 423 I don't think is worth it um, for that lens. Now going back over to B&H, sorry for switching back and forth, but I just like comparison shopping uh, and checking prices. So yeah, if you guys are interested in getting the 35 millimeter on B&H with the EDU special, it's 352, which is a hundred bucks less than what you are seeing on Amazon. Uh, almost a hundred bucks less, less. I mean, let's be specific, $75 less. So that's definitely a better deal there. Um, let's continue um, here, the 16 to 70 on Amazon. Not a lens that I would recommend, just not sharp, especially on the telephoto side. Um, 24 to 240, again, haven't reviewed that one, so I don't know about that. Um, let's move on to page four, Voking. We got some adapters, uh, Nikkor lenses, that doesn't apply. So 55 millimeter Zeiss is a whopping 6% off, not great. Let's continue. Nope, nope, nope. 16 to 135 is 9% off, not a whole lot. Here's a good lens. So the 16 to 55G for APS-C is a whopping 7% off, which is not a lot. So it's still 1300. Switch over to B&H and we should see a lower price, yeah. So EDU special on B&H, 1,088. So you save 22% over the list price, which is 1400 bucks. So 
Um, I believe I paid $1,400 for my copy of this lens when it was released, and I still have it, still have it right here. Uh, this is a great little lens, um, very, very usable. I use this primarily for um, product shots, so when I'm doing like unboxing where I'm handling lenses, this is what I'll use because I can zoom in and show some better details with some lenses or whatever I'm reviewing. So definitely a lens that I still use on a regular basis and I would highly recommend. And for 1,088 bucks, uh, yeah, it's a good deal. I know it's a lot of money, but I think this is uh, probably one of the best, if not the best lenses that you can get. That's an all-in-one lens for your Sony APS-C camera. Uh, really expensive. I wish it was cheaper, but it's really, really good. All right, let's go back to Amazon. Um, Viltrux 23, actually a good lens, no price listed. I don't know why. Let's go through one more page of lenses here and see if we can find anything else on Amazon. Nothing, no, no, Viltrux. Uh, nope. Not seeing much else. Uh, so, Let's search for some other things here. Um, uh, I, see, I seem to remember that memory cards, uh, let's see, SD cards. I use SanDisk cards almost exclusively. I have one right here just for an example. There you go, 128. And in fact, most of my cards I think are 128 gigabytes. So. Um, I like the extreme and then I like the pro. So the extreme right now is 30% off, which is a really good deal actually. So uh, 128 gigabytes uh, for an SD card for 20 bucks. I mean, you really can't go wrong there. Uh, the 256 is 40 bucks. So also a pretty decent deal there. Let's see what the pro versions are. Um, extreme pro, 43% off. So you get, let's see, the 128 is 30 bucks and the 256 is 56.99 and so the difference between the extreme pro and the um, extremes is just speed so 150 megabytes a second max speed versus 170 megabytes per second um, which in real life they're very very similar so i wouldn't necessarily pay more unless you're doing a lot of 4k video recording and you can utilize that extra read and write speed uh, with whatever computer that you're using. Let's really quickly look at camera bodies. I don't think anything is on sale, at least when I checked this morning. There wasn't anything. A6100 is still 748. Um, A64 hasn't been on sale in, well, since its release, so I don't expect that's on sale. It's not. A6600. Not holding my breath. Uh, nope, 100 bucks off, which isn't a sale price. And just because I'm curious, A7 III, let's see, A7 III. So this is a Black Friday deal. Um, so if you are looking at getting into full frame or buying a full frame camera, A7 III is great. The only problem with the A7 III is now it's a three-year-old camera um, and it's only $300 off of its original retail price of $19.99 or $2,000. Um, so yeah, it's not bad for a full frame camera, but um, it is a three year old camera. Still a good performer, but it's three years old. Um, A7C is the new kind of compact full frame camera, which I haven't tested, haven't reviewed yet. Um, I don't think it is on sale, $17.98. I believe that's regular price for that camera. Um, now, we're done with Amazon, so those are the deals. I'll link the good ones down in the description, so check those out. Let's move over to B&H uh, because I think we'll have a little bit more fun. So let's see, A6100, um, let's see if we can find any sort of deals here. Oh, let me go back. A6100, um, so regular price here, um, $748. There are some rebates out if you're buying a... Sony Xperia smartphone, which I don't know of anyone who is in the market for a smartphone and a camera at the same time. Um, so no good sale there. Let me see if we look at EDU specials. 
So the body only A6100 with the EDU discount is 673, which is 10% off of retail. Still not a good deal though. Um, if you guys remember, I did a video maybe four or five months ago where the A6100 was $450. That was a good deal. 450 is an amazing deal for the A6100 camera body, but 673 is disappointing. Basically, it's just it's close to regular price, so um, not something to just jump out and uh, go out and buy. Let's take a look at the A6400. Uh, doesn't look like there's any sort of deals there. Um, let's take a look at EDU specials. So 808, again, 10% off um, standard. I mean, this camera, the A6400 is now two years old and Sony has never discounted it, which is depressing. Uh, A6600, let's see if we get something better. All right, so Black Friday special, you get a SD card, a carrying case, 1298 for an A6600 camera body. Um, not a great deal though. I mean, honestly, it's just not amazing. Uh, let's click on EDU specials. 11.58, so uh, it's less than what I paid for my A6600, which is what I'm using to record this video, by the way but it is still not immensely a great deal. I mean, 1100 I guess at the end of the day for 1150 it's not a bad deal because when you look at the A6400 for 900 uh, 250 more dollars, you get the larger battery, um, continual eye autofocus and video, the in-body image stabilization, a couple of features that are pretty nice on the A6600, but in my opinion, the A61, A64, and A66 are all three such great cameras and such so similar in performance that um, if you can buy an A6100 for $500 to $600, I'd say you're better off than spending double that for the A66 for most people, unless you do a whole lot of video. Like my wife has been doing uh, YouTube videos for her fitness channel and she's been recording and sometimes she's doing these workouts for 45 minutes, 50 minutes straight. And in that case, you want a camera that has a uh, battery that will last for over an hour of recording. Uh, and so she uses the A6600 all the time. Um, but I can get away with using the A61 because those tiny batteries last enough for me. Um, anyway, let's go back to uh, the B&H specials for um, lenses. And actually, we could just Sony ZV-1, which is a uh, one inch sensor camera. Uh, is almost 30% off, 586, not bad. So we saw that 50 millimeter for 160, that's a pretty decent deal. Uh, the APS-C version of the Sony 50 millimeter is 15% off, so $300, I would say not something that I would recommend for the money, just get the Sigma 56 because at that point you're very close in price. Um, Sony 35, we saw that. Sony 85, great deal for that one. Um, and then A6000 with the lens for 433 if you have the EDU special. A6000 now I believe is discontinued and it's such an old camera. Um, I would encourage people to try to get the A6100 even though it costs a couple hundred dollars more. I mean, I would say you're much better off spending 550 for an A6100 over spending 430 for an A6000 with the kit lens. Um, that's just me though. Uh, the Sony full frame 35 f1.8 548, that's a pretty decent deal if you guys have a full frame Sony camera. Uh, the 24-70 f4, haven't tested that, but it is 42% off, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the reviews don't look too great, it's four out of five stars, but That'd be an interesting one to test out. Uh, the 20 millimeter, great lens, um, 668, that's not bad. Um, and then again, that's 70 to 350. I was gonna look at uh, full frame, that was the other thing I was gonna look at, full frame camera bodies um, on B&H. So let's take a look at uh, the A7. So the A7 II, I've been looking at buying the A7 II just because 
I'm curious as to um, how it works and how it feels compared to my A7, the first generation. Um, and let's see, prices have been around $700. Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything huge or significant. $758. It says it's 46% off of retail, but let's be honest, this camera is like seven years old. Um, it's been around $800 for a long, long time. The a7 III, let's see. So the new price that Sony has for this a7 III is $300 off of retail. So $1698, uh, you saw that on both Amazon and now on B&H. However, if you have the EDU discounts, uh, here is where, where things get really good. So here is the Sony a7 III, body only for $1,458. So um, I've been looking at a7 III prices for the last six months or so. $1,458 is an amazing deal. Um, so you see they're 27% off of retail. You can probably not even get a used a7 III for that price. So um, it's a really, really tempting buy for me. Um, and I might buy it as soon as I'm done with this video. I'm still debating it, um, but definitely a good deal for body only a7 III. Even though it's an older camera, it's a very, very good, very capable camera. a7C, uh, that's the new release, and I'm just curious uh, if there's any EDU specials on this on B&H. There is, so $1,618. Um, for the body only of the a7c. That is a tough call between the a7c and the a7 III. Both great cameras, uh, but there are a couple of nice features on the a7c, uh, specifically the autofocus color science, um, and it is a smaller camera body. That is pretty tempting. It's only 10% off, um, so I'm expecting this sale is probably not like a Black Friday only deal. It's probably going to continue through the end of the year and probably into next year, but it is tempting. I would probably get it in silver, which is out of stock, but um, pretty interesting buy. I'm not giving up APS-C anytime soon, don't worry. But it would be interesting to uh, play with the A7C and compare it to the A6600, um, especially if the pricing is pretty close. I mean, $1,600 versus, you know, $1,300, $1,200. Um, it's not too large of a difference between those two cameras. Uh, what else is out there? Um, I brought out some of my lenses just because I wanted to look up some prices. So I got my Sigma. This is a Sigma uh, 30 millimeter. I'm actually just curious if any of the Sigma Trio is on sale, um, 16 millimeter f1.4. So that's uh, $50 off, so $399, not bad if you guys are looking for the Sigma 16. The 30 millimeter is $289, so another $50 off, not bad. And the 56, my favorite out of the three, is $429, also $50 off. So. 50 bucks off of each of those Sigmas, and I think when I checked on Amazon, the prices are pretty similar. Uh, Sigma 56 millimeter for Sony E-mount. Uh, let's see, 389, what was it? Whoa, it's even cheaper on Amazon. So yeah, 389 on Amazon for the Sigma 56. Now I have to check the 30 millimeter, 289. Lowest price in 30 days, so that's a good one. That's with a bundle. Uh, without the bundle, it's 285, but you might as well get all this crazy stuff with this lens. So I'll link this deal down below because 289 with all this free stuff, not bad. You can clean your lens. There's a nice little strap, tripod, microfiber cloth, and a backpack. It's pretty cool. Um, and then last but not least, let's take a look at the Sigma 16 millimeter, not 26, 16, um, and 375. So Sigma, what was it here? On B&H, 
$399. I'm curious if there, no, it doesn't look like there are any EDU specials with the Sigma 16. So uh, on B&H, if you're looking at the Sigma 16, I would say buy it on Amazon, $399 versus $375. Uh, which is a really, really good deal for that lens. Um, I don't believe that I've ever seen it for 375 or lower than 375. Um, so definitely a cool lens, highly recommended. Um, this is probably out of every lens uh, that I recommend to folks, the one that I recommend the most as far as the first lens that you should buy after buying your camera and using your kit lens, Sigma 16. It's a just very usable, lens, um, very sharp, uh, great autofocus, quiet autofocus, um, just an amazing lens all around. In fact, I'm using it right now to record this talking head video um, on my a6600. So uh, my wife uses the 16 millimeter for all of her workout videos almost exclusively. In fact, 100% exclusively. So uh, that is her go-to combo. So highly recommended. And you can see there's 1610 ratings on it and it's five out of five stars. It really is an amazing, amazing lens. Um, so anyway, that is gonna be it for the deals. Um, I believe I went over everything that I wanted to go over. Um, trying to think if there are any other lenses. Just for fun, let's look up one more last lens. I know this video is long, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys endured this thing. I wanted to see uh, my favorite macro lens, which is this little cheap Seven Artisans 60 millimeter f1.8, or f2.8. Let's see, Seven Artisans 60 millimeter macro. Let's see, so uh, it is, okay. So it's not a Black Friday deal, it's 159, but if you look at do they have it for Sony E-mount with the coupon? Micro Four Thirds. Yes, here it is. Seven Artisan, 60 millimeter, it's 159. So 160, that's the normal price, but you can save an extra 20% off when you apply that coupon. So that's 32 bucks off, which means you're looking at 130 bucks for an awesome uh, macro lens. This is manual focus. So uh, it's not like autofocus, it doesn't have autofocus, but for macro, you don't really need autofocus, or if you have autofocus, it doesn't usually work all that well. Um, and this gets you that one-to-one -one magnification. Let's see if I can focus on it. Come on, yeah, take a look at that. It is super buttery smooth, one-to-one -one magnification. Uh, this is my macro lens of choice. Um, it's a nice little cheap find. I don't save or keep all of my super cheap lenses, but this macro and actually the Seven Artisans, another Seven Artisans, the F0.95 is something that I am keeping in my collection for the time being. So uh, definitely check out this deal. That's, that's a pretty good, 20% off is a pretty good deal for this lens. So I'll link that down below as well. Um, anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all of your likes, all of your comments and support. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to buy any of these lenses that I talked about for reviews. I uh, hope you guys have a great Black Friday. Um, we'll see if any more deals come out on Cyber Monday. If they do, stay subscribed. I'll maybe put a community post out there um, notifying you of anything great that I find. Um, and then I'll do a bunch of work right now and link a ton of stuff down in the description. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.